What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Wyatt Wiggins, the one and only, and we are here with your school announcements. First things first, let's pass on over to John with sports. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. This week, we got a short one for you and just a quick score update on our Wolfpack sports. Our football team, even though they had a short season, went 2-1 and one with wins against Davis and Elk Grove. Their last game was played this past Saturday, and the Wolfpack won 26-8 against a very good Elk Grove team. Congratulations, boys. As for our varsity baseball team, they played Jesuit yesterday and had a tough loss of a score of 10-9. to That was their first league game, and their next game will be at Jesuit tomorrow at 4 as they hope to even up the series. Good luck. Lastly, our varsity softball team played Davis yesterday as well. They sent Davis home with a loss. Our Wolfpack won by a score of 13-3, to and their next game is against Elk Grove this Thursday at Elk Grove. Good luck, girls. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan, and this has been your weekly sports update. Thanks, John. Hey, Dylan, don't you and Josiah share a historical event that happened on the same day as the show? Yes, sir, I do. Here's me and Josiah with This Day in History. Welcome back to our third edition of This Day in History. <laughs> On this day, superstar known as Prince passed away at the age of 57. On April 21st, 2016, Prince's cause of death was an accidental overdose. He had been taking prescription pain medication for chronic hip pain, but it is believed he was struggling with an opioid addiction. Throughout his career, Prince altered the music industry. His music fused the element of punk, rock, R&B, and pop into what is later known as the Minneapolis sound. He also toured frequently and was known as an especially electrifying live performer. At his high, his song Purple Rain released in 1984 and spent 24 weeks at the number one Billboard 200 chart and also won a Grammy Award for the best rock performance and also sold over 13 million copies. He has created more than 30 albums and won seven Grammys over a 40-year career. In 2016, Prince Estate sold more albums than any artist that year, dead or alive. Although Prince isn't with us today, we thank him for his lasting contribution to society through his music. Thanks for joining us today on This Days in History. Back to you, Anchors. Attention seniors, as we near graduation, please be sure that there will be in-person graduations for high schools with a virtual option available for those who feel uncomfortable attending a live ceremony. The pros and cons of both an indoor and outdoor event are currently being evaluated, accounting for safety, capacity, weathering, and timing. Man, I can't wait to graduate. Well, here's Sammy with more information on the GenUp organization. Elk Grove Unified School District currently does not have a student board member. The UGSD board consists of seven adults representing the seven geographical regions that make up UGSD. So now, these seven adults are voting on student values, student issues, student priorities, all without an actual input from a student. Now, this causes major problems and major miscommunications, as seen on April 13, 2021, as EGSD's Instagram page released this apology post, and it read, we apologize for the offensive social media post that went on the other day as a part of our hashtag fight racism campaign. Your comments and emails of concern were taken very seriously and we deleted the post. We thank you for speaking up and pointing out where we messed up and so on. The Instagram post that led to the apology post consisted of racial stereotypes and no relevant information to actually dismantle systemic racism. So a lot of students especially high school students at EGSD, believe that if there was a student board member, a racially insensitive post would have never made it onto social media. Many high school girls in EGSD are taking action on the misrepresentation of students through the organization GenUp. GenUp is a California-based, nationwide, student-led social justice organization and student activist coalition that strives to advocate for education through the power of youth voices. Now, this summer, GenUp actually started an Elk Grove chapter to specifically advocate for EGSD students. Their message is that we hope to have more student representation in our district by raising our voices and not staying silent in things that matter. In February, GenUp EG started a campaign called the Take a Seat Campaign. The Take a Seat Campaign works to place a student on the EGSD school board with the California Student Board Member Association, known as CSBMA. 
This position will involve more student voice in important decisions made regarding student rights and education. Now, to provide some more information and maybe answer some unanswered questions about the Take a Seat campaign, I asked Prayer and Tensei, who actually go to our school, Prayer's a junior, Tensei is a sophomore, to interview with me and answer some of those unanswered questions and really dive deep into what the Take a Seat campaign is and what it can do for us students here in EGSD. So a student board member is basically, um, so because we are in Elk Grove, uh, we were hoping it could be like a high school student who would just serve as a member on the Elk Grove Unified School District the actual school board. Um, so they would be responsible for just having direct communication from, you know, like our schools and like us students, what we want um, and like the issues that we as students are going through or like just the issues that we want the school board to be addressed. They would be responsible for like relaying that information and just, you know, having that communication. And we have a, what they call like a preferential vote. So that means like they vote first when like decisions are made, but it isn't um, officially counted, but it is like logged in the meeting. So um, they don't have like official vote though, because they're student legal things, but yeah. Right, like it's logged down. And so like if the board members like kind of go against that, it's kind of like, wow. it don't look so well. Yeah, so it makes them think twice too. Our board currently, because you know, they're it's ironic because they mostly consist of adults. So they kind of just assume that this is what students want or these are the issues that students are going through. So this is how we think we should approach this. But by actually having a student board member position, they don't have to assume as much. If we don't do it, no one else is gonna do it for us. So we gotta, just gotta, yeah, take that initiative. So in order to make any progress with the Take a Seat campaign, Genep EG needs 500 EGUSD student signatures that are in favor of the petition. After that, the EGUSD Board of Education will then review it and make a decision on it. Thanks, Sammy. Well, Wolf Pack, another show must come to an end. We appreciate you for watching, and remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. The strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a wow-tastic oh, Wednesday, Wolf Pack.